Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Hot Mike. I'm Bill Whittle, uh, and we're talking today about celebrity hypocrites, opportunists, um, narcissists, and, and just plain nut jobs. And we have with us on the phone uh, conservative comedian uh, Tim Young. You can reach at timyoung.com. He's out in Washington. And we were talking about this idea of celebrity narcissism and the echo chamber and all the other stuff. And, and Tim, I saw your show uh, on YouTube, No Things Considered. I saw your show on um, the James Comey interview just a couple days ago where everybody thought, here comes the Trump impeachment. And it strikes me that James Comey in many ways is no different than any of these other celebrities. He seems to be making extremely emotional decisions based purely on women. And, and he looks so much like the central casting uh, vision of the director of the FBI. But as you point out on that show, and certainly as many of our viewers have come to realize, this guy is kind of a publicity hound, isn't he? He really, he really belongs in Hollywood, I think, more than in, than in um, the, the bowels of the FBI. <laughs> well, it is literally what Donald Trump said. I mean, he, uh, he released his memo uh, on purpose to try to draw attention to himself after he was fired. I mean, this is, this is drama 101. He's trying to drum up publicity for himself. He's trying to make himself look great. I'm sure he's, I, I, I bet he's got a, a book deal in the works right now. There's no way that he doesn't have a book deal in the works. Uh, he reminds me of Judge Ito. Remember that? Judge Ito and, um, what was it, Linda, what was her name, Carl, uh, the, uh, the prosecutor? for the O.J. Simpson trial, where all of a sudden they're now national celebrities, and, and it went right to their heads. They just forgot how to do their jobs. Yeah, it's unbelievable to me. And I, I think he, this started back with the uh, Hillary email situation and him coming out, you know, just before the election as well. Like, I mean, his, his having these unprecedented uh, press, press events for himself was kind of mind-blowing to begin with. But then him, I mean, he's living for the moment to be in front of cameras and in front of uh, congressional hearings so that he can get some more publicity. It's, it's wild to me how he's behaved. Marsha, Marsha Clark, that was the name I'm thinking of. Well, Tim, thanks very much for joining us. It's always great to know there's one conservative in, uh, in uh, the pop culture out in Washington, and uh, look forward to having you back again real soon. Thanks so much. Okay, just to wrap up, I just wanted to say again about this narcissism thing. This is called virtue signaling. This is a way that people like James Comey, but mostly like movie stars, show other people how good they are, how virtuous they are. They're narcissists. Their entire world orbits around themselves. They have to do things in order to make themselves the center of attention. And so this one's for you, Barbara Streisand, just because it just irked me so much. You would have the audacity to call Donald Trump a narcissist. I think we have a few before and after pictures of the woman who's calling Donald Trump a narcissist. Do we have any of these? Um, any of these? Uh, yeah, there's a there's, uh, I don't know how many plastic surgeries Barbara Streisand has had. I know she just came out of another one. And, and these are actually from 10, 15 years ago. These are people who, who are in the clinic more often than they're outside of the clinic trying to maintain this illusion of, of youth, this illusion of, of uh, glamour, this illusion of relevance, this illusion of all of it. It may seem cold for me to be running these pictures of Barbara Streisand, but Kathy Griffin is the same way, Madonna is the same way, Nicki Minaj, Sarah Jessica Parker, even Scarlett Johansson, all of these people who are accusing Donald Trump of shallowness, accusing Donald Trump of being phony. These are people whose entire lives are built around creating this illusion about themselves, about themselves. It's, it's just, I don't know. I, it's, it's, it does go to show one thing, and that is simply this, that these people are lightweights, that their arguments are lightweight, that, that despite the fact that you sometimes think, well, maybe they got something, they don't have anything. There's just nothing there but marshmallows. Um, that's why I'm glad this show was named after, uh, uh, you know, not me. It's important to me that this, you know, I don't want to be called the Bill Whittle Show. It's named after my friend Hot Mike, and, and Hot Mike is going to be back tomorrow for sure because if the show was about me that would make me one of them too and god knows that would be a bit more than i could tolerate some of us know how to make fun of ourselves because some of us have a little confidence in what we believe in that'll do it for hot mic today here and we will see you back tomorrow right here on nra tv